Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with this with ukulele on the PC. Last time, we tried to help out an old asteroid with some back problems, and then angered his girlfriend, Planette, who promptly murdered us in retaliation several times. So, yeah. Um, I've got her down to, as far as I can tell, what's her last phase, and she's done a number on me here, mainly for uh, the phase where she shoots out meteors out of her blowhole while you're attacking her craters on the side of her, you know, the ones that just kind of sneak up on you, those do a lot of damage. Um, and also running into her does damage too, so yeah, that's fun. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try to finish her off. Uh, real fast though, there was one thing that I found off screen, um, so I'll, sh I'll show that real fast and then we'll get back to trying to kill this lady. Alrighty, I found one random quill over here by where the first use of the boat was. So, there's that. Uh, I don't think there's one over on that rock, I hope. And if there is, well, we'll grab it. But I thought I got most of these. Yeah. oh well, it happens. Um, let's go turbo over here. Oh, no, you want the uh, flamethrower, don't you? Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, I think it was just that one random quill that I missed over here. Okay. So yeah, just that one random quill over there. So we should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and not try to die here. Uh, ow. Okay, that is boo -boo. You should not be able to hit me that close. The problem is... I don't know how many hits this lady takes, and there doesn't seem to be a way to stun her in order to, you know, not die here. Okay. Oh, I guess that that was a lot faster than I thought it was. Okay. Okay, that's cruel space pirates. Uh, yeah, we are heroes, but hey, I was trying to help your I was trying to help your husband out with his back, and. I didn't realize we were that close to defeating her last time. I don't remember if we actually got to this particular phase, but the phases that I skipped were just the ones where... Because she starts off with three fire craters, three ice craters, and three uh, something else craters. So I killed those, and then, then there's also the phase where she has four of each of those. And in, in between each of those, she spits out her lava uh, at you, and you got to dodge that. I thought there was another row of stuff that we had to fire on, like another another couple holes or something, but I guess not. So anyways, planet is done, I guess. Uh, yeah, your debris scratched up yeah, pretty good, but then again, we're just going to be able to transform and get it back anyways. By the way, um, I'm not sure if she said it during our previous fight, but one of the lines that she used here was, guess what I had for tea? Flaming asteroids. Which probably explains the side of her in the back that we can see right there so yeah so planet you are taken care of you were tough though i'll give you that uh planetary annihilation yes i was annihilated several times she was it wasn't really tough for the fact that she was like really hard it's just that she had a lot of unavoidable stuff that we couldn't or stuff that was harder to avoid than it should have been i guess but either way, she put up a good fight, and now we're going to go ahead and, well, continue on, since here in, uh, what is it, uh, Galleon Galaxy, we still have 11 more pages, 86 more quills, and a red Ghost Rider, so we got to find all those. So let's get to it. I th pretty sure I got the boulders from everywhere around here that we have been um, already in the boat. I don't know if there's if there's areas in the boat that we can get to still that have uh, what is it craters for us to destroy. So I'm gonna check those out in a minute here. I haven't I haven't picked up anything new, so we're still good on that front. Um, now I was over here, and I'm pretty sure we've been into this area, but. I'm going to do a quick check at some point anyways, but I'm pretty sure that we have been into 
this little cave. I think that cave was the one that led us to, um, you know, where like we had to leak the battery and stuff. So I don't think we have to go back in there. I'll still make sure and check just real fast, but I think we are home free. Now, you know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill these guys just because, you know, we can, and then we can grab a butterfly. Ooh. That killed you real quick, fast, and in a hurry. So there's two butterflies out there waiting for us if we ever want to get around to them. Um, there's bowling balls right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Try to make sure there's no other boulders for us to destroy here. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. Unless they're on the rear end. Not looking like it. So we shouldn't have too much further over here to deal with. If I think this said something on it. Uh, let me see what that sign said. Because this might be what I was mistaking something for in Capital Cashino. Um, Black Hole in One. Yeah, that's the uh, golf mini game. Uh, that people were saying was a real pain in the butt, and that's the one I thought was one of the Rex Trail games for either Last World or This World. Yeah, people have said that that one is not too terribly forgiving, so it's reasonably difficult. I mean, we had that we had that golf mini game in Capital Casino, and that wasn't too bad actually. I mean, it was just pretty easy, really. So we'll see about that one when we actually get to it. But for now, let's just go ahead and. I think we can't destroy these. No, we can't. I didn't think we could. We know it never hurts to check. Uh, there's a butterfly here, but I don't think we can actually... Not what I was trying to do. Ugh, son of a bastard. Okay, we're dead. Please do not tell me that that respawns the craters. Because I will be extremely salty about that. Because I went ahead and disarmed all those craters for a reason okay good they're out and I don't have to worry about those butterflies except for the part where now I have to I might have to re-kill that one dude over there oh no the butterflies are still hanging out there okay cool so the butterfly is still hanging out there but so are the enemies yeah not quite what I was hoping for oh well anyways let's go ahead and if you don't, let me make sure nothing new popped up over here in this. I don't think anything did, but you know, it never hurts to do a quick check. Still can't get out this door, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, little lockup, good for us. And I wonder if we're ever going to use the battery for anything else besides, you know, just this one area. It would be cool if you had to use it to like light like a giant flashlight or something and use that to get around or something. But oh well. Uh no, nothing over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do in here. I do want to check on that other side of the cave, because I forget where that went to. That might have went to That might have went to that one room that I'm can't remember. Uh, it had like uh, the the rolling floors and such that were kind of irritating, but not really too pain in the butt. Goodbye. Oh, you guys don't have anything to go for, do you? I don't think they can actually do much in the way of attack without their little friends. So I'm not too terribly concerned about you guys. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh. Oh yeah, we've been here before. Okay, Cosmic Cavern. Yeah, we were in here. I probably should have just flown across the area, but I don't think I did. Oh well. Yeah. Um, you know, let's just go right here, I guess, since it's right here. Uh, goodbye. And no butterflies. You know what? I'm used to it by now. Uh... 
I was about to say, why the heck is there a toilet seat there? But I think we have run into uh, toilets somewhere else in the area. I just don't remember exactly where. And you're trying to work out there, buddy. You know, it's probably not a great idea to try to work out in zero gravity since you'll feel like you're making more gains than you are, but then it turns out that you're not because, you know, your uh, muscles aren't technically working as hard as they should be or some mumbo jumbo, I don't know. So something like that. Oh, there's a PG in there. Uh, I'm assuming that we cannot just... No. I didn't think so. So we're going to have to knock this thing, I guess. Alright, let's do it. Oh, excuse you, sir. Uh, we're only kind of want to be. Strong enough to make the ball reach the top. We're ready to claim the golden artifact and officially become a fully armed Blamphibian. Okay, sure. I'll try. Uh, I'm more green than you are. Yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. I'm assuming we just have to buddy slam. Uh, we might have to buddy slam from a, from a distance, though, because, yeah, it's not going to go up very high right there. Okay. That didn't go up very high either. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about it. It wasn't there that that box of uh, heavy over there. Uh, it's either bowling balls or cannonballs. I'm going to assume cannonballs just because. And then with that, we should be able to get doing what we need to get doing. What's going on with these right here? They have, like, little containers underneath them, but I don't know if anything's actually... going on here. No? Alright, let's give it a shot. There you go. Uh... Not quite. Okay, let's go with some distance there. Oh, I guess my... I guess my, uh... Steel form ran out. Just in time there. Okay, let's do a little better on the platform here. They don't really give you too much time to get over here. I don't even know if the extra... distance on the jump really counts. You know what? I'm gonna try something else here. Alright, let's do this. Let's fly over there. There you go. Got it. I figured you had to get some kind of distance there. And we completely broke your game, sir. Uh, it was uh, a lot of iron in our diet, let's just put it that way. Yes, sir, we're a war machine. Uh, how many of these frogs are we going to have to deal with, anyways? New green and purple war machine. I like the sound of that. Awesome. And I think you said we had to fight the Blurp Fibians, or is that the guys that they are? I can't tell. Um... You know, if we look at the pause screen, we can probably see how many of these frogs are hanging out here. Uh, let's see. There's the pigs. Um, so it looks like two frogs right there. One's a firefighter. One's got purple. What do you have, bud? Okay, that's that guy right there, the purple. Uh, one has a... You're the golf, you're the golf frog, it looks like. Okay. Um, you're the meteor chick. Scooty Jetson right here. Okay, so looks like only three of them. We just gotta find them. Okay, sounds like a plan, a man. Uh, since we're over here, let's go ahead and try to take care of this 
golf mini game that I've heard so much about. Very little of it good. Yeah, there we go. Let's grab you, you, and you. And hopefully there are a couple more quills in there, because that was kind of a measly haul. Black hole in one. It'd be cool if it, like the lights turned out and everything like started glowing in the dark. It'd be cool, but I probably wouldn't be able to see too well. Okay, I wasn't trying to talk to you just yet. But okay. Okay, so I guess uh, Laylee is a female. Or Yuka, I don't know. I, if I had to guess, I'd say Laylee is, since they seem to have a trend of the uh, secondary partner being the female, but I don't think it matters too much, really. Eh, it's kind of big and bulbous. Grand prizes, huh? If it is a pagey, I'll be more than happy to. Space Golf. Rule one, tee off with a forceful swing. Reptile rush move is recommended. We got that. Okay, we're good to go. Transport the ball to the hole before timer runs out. Easy enough. Appropriate dress wear must be worn at all times. Uh, we're not wearing anything at all, really. Security team to dispose of uncouth offenders. Uh, if you give me, like, a golf shirt to wear, sure, I'll wear it, but uh, I don't actually have a shirt. I'm assuming you're the prize pagey, because uh, I don't think the prize pagey is going to be in there. I think it's just going to be you. Okay, I'm ready to go, but don't, like, try to guilt me into wearing one of your shirts there. Are you a female? Or is that just your breast pockets? I don't know. You've got a slender figure and possible breasts, so I don't know. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Okay, so we don't even have to, like, pay an entry fee of, like, a quill or anything like that. Uh, we do have to go through here, though. Right? Or do we have to do something else? Okay, so what do we gotta do to actually get started here? Oh, that's the exit. Oops, I was trying to go the entirely wrong way. Okay, uh, if we can get a quick layout of the course, that'd be awesome. You know what, let's go ahead and try to get rid of these chumps real fast. That way I don't gotta deal with them. Because that'd be awesome. I mean, they might just respawn, but if I can potentially get them out of the way, that'd be awesome. Especially if there's one of those big bozos that I don't like to deal with. Uh, okay, there's ramps here. Yeah, there's that big fella right there. Um... And there's a rock that could be broken by the boat, but I don't think the boat is allowed in here. Okay, you're still alive, which is unfortunate. You and your invisibility frames are always unfortunate. Uh, I think I just kind of knocked you off the ledge, which is awesome. Okay, uh, now as for you guys, do I have to timer it, or does it not really matter? Oh, that just gets rid of those. Okay, yeah, we might have to timer that. As for you, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do about this. And if there is, well, I don't know. Uh, there might be a berry bush around here somewhere that we could employ in our efforts to get rid of that. But if there is, it's reasonably well camouflaged. Okay, so it's not too terribly difficult so far here. 
And of course you guys respawn. I forgot about that crap. Okay. I was hoping he wouldn't, but eh, then he did. Okay, we got plenty of time to get this, I think. Okay, you guys need to get out of the way. Like, all the way out of the way. You know what? Let's just, uh... Ball roll it. Or, tail roll it. I'm not seeing the big problem here yet. I mean, unless the big guy respawns and he starts to be a real pain in the ass. I'm not seeing anything... Dangerous yet. As a matter of fact, this is downright easy. Okay, I guess trying to get through that might be a bit of a pain, but. Okay, I didn't actually notice there was more stuff around here. That's probably part of what I was not noticing. Ta da! Our first try, well, that was really easy. I was hearing horror stories about this, like, people, like, really hated this. Okay, that was pathetically easy, actually. I was expecting to have to take a couple shots at it or something. Maybe I just misread the, the game they were talking about. I don't know. Uh, I doubt there's anything around here. Actually, I'm... Almost 100% positive there's anything around here. But there could possibly be something on top of you. Uh, let's see. No. Um, you could have been possibly hiding the, the red ghost rider. And you know what? It's possible you're hiding on that roof right there. But I'm going to take a wild guess and say that it's not actually the case. But I'll still do a quick check anyways, just to be making sure. Uh, see, we gotta... Okay, take that off so we can get in. Or we probably could have just uh, flown back from the, the front, I guess. Very nice. Two pages, too easy. Oh, I don't think there is a roof up here. Okay, that was uh, plenty easy then. Cool. Alright, so we got two more of those pages out of the way, plus the boss. So let's go ahead and find other stuff to do around here. You know what? Let's get a vantage point right here. Okay, so we took care of the strongman. We took care of the golf. We took care of that island over there in the distance. Um... Probably just imagining things, but it looked like there was something on this meteor. Okay, I was imagining things. Um, so that means we got the... I think there's a ship area that we have to go to. Uh, yeah, that right there, that ship. Um, that, whatever that is, looks like a little factory, kinda. And then that right there. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take the teleporter over there, get back to wherever it takes us, which I think is just that island right there. Let's see here. That right there will take us over to there. Okay, we can go over there in just a moment. But, yeah, we want to grab these real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hey, nice, sirs. And thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the extra health and get back on the extra energy regen. I feel like I'm missing something over here, but I don't think I am. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, there we go. 
Gotta grab a drink real fast. Uh, let me make sure of our totals again. I think we should be at 16. Yeah. So we still gotta find nine more pages somehow. I guess eight since we have... Uh, no, I guess seven since we have to get the Ghost Rider and the last quills. And that ship, that red area, and that other red area. Looks like it's gonna be three. Oh, and whatever uh, that little floating... Saturn looking area up there is okay. So, uh, making sure there's nothing else up here that I'm not noticing. Uh, whatever that is. Oh, that's actually connected to that right there. Yeah, that little other giant Saturn area. Or I guess more of like a Uranus or Uranus or whatever. Whichever one is the smaller one. I think Uranus is smaller, if I had to remember, which I don't always. I'm not dealing with you. Sorry, bud. And you just go nice acid bath of the stars. Hey, hello. Quills. Uh, what is that right there? Nothing, but it did kind of glitch out when I got near it. I thought there might be the red guy heading around here, but no such luck. Okay, fair enough. He will pop up whenever he pops up. Dude, how about we body slam onto the platform instead of, you know, like an inch away from the platform? You know what? Let's just go directly onto the boat here. There you go, that's the stuff. Hey, a nice, dangerous quill. You would think that as a chameleon, we would have had a grip grab ability, since, you know, chameleons are known for sticky uh, pads on their feet, enabling them to grab onto stuff and possibly use it to climb. But maybe that'll be in a ukulele, as people have uh, already come to start call the potential sequel. You know, kind of like banjo Tui, but Tukulele. I think it has a nice ring to it. It doesn't look like there's actually a whole lot going on on top of this boat here. Unless there's something up here, which there probably is. You know, I just realized we have a boat that uh, we live in on the start of the game. I mean, not that there's really a whole lot going on in that boat, but it is there. And another precariously placed quill. There you go. Got it. Uh, right over here it should be good, I think. There we go. Now, there is a door around here somewhere. I've never seen it. Ah, there it is. Nice and easy to find. Captain's cabin. Oh, and you're the other, you're the other frog. Okay, cool. What am I looking at down here besides the glowflies? And I did not really want that for energy purposes. I wanted it for health purposes. There you go. Oh, there's a bunch of you guys with uh, hats down here. That particular, that particular um, quill up top of the mast might be easy to grab if you had the the tonic that lets you grab stuff with your tongue. Or grab quills with your tongue, I'm sorry. Oh, we don't even need the fire to get rid of that. I thought we might need it. Okay. Alright, bud, you're gonna want me to do something down here. And what exactly is it that you are in need of, sir? Oh, you're not the frog, you're the little minion dude from the first level, I think. Oh, 
Arr, it's me, Scrubby Yuka and Poop Dick Lily. An irrational fear of shadows? I mean, I guess assassins can hide there or whatever, but okay. Second mate, Billy. Strange loser voice, yeah. That'll probably, you know, cut into your ability to recognize somebody. The captain's rub down. Yeah, I don't want to know what that's all about. I really don't. Hey, what do you mean another hour? Yes, it's Billy. We're back. Nighttime and you'll set sail. Uh, oh, you know what? We probably have to turn off a light somewhere. Um, maybe we have to go down there with the lantern. I don't know. Oh, I don't... We probably have to light this lantern right here. Okay, I got you. With the fire flower. That's why that's down there. It's not down there to break the boxes. It's down there to light that lamp. I gotcha. And then he'll think it's nighttime because there's more lights and whatnot, even though he's still afraid of shadows, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of shadows now. Oh, there's more shadows, I guess. Okay, I didn't see you. Uh, before I get too far here, let me make sure there's no other hidden lanterns that I gotta see here. Okay, there's you, which is very close to being lit. Now, do we got to... Okay, there's you right there, which is two more. I'm sure there's gonna be another, another one here somewhere that I'm not seeing, but... Unless there's some down here that we have to light as well. I just realized having this makes it easier to see the lanterns that we actually have to light. Okay, there's that, and... You're broken, as far as I can tell. Okay, I guess... I guess those don't count. Either that or I just did something wrong. You know, let's see if we can't, uh... Break them open here, I guess. Oh, I guess we don't know how to write the one. Or light the one. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, sure, let's just, uh... Try to burn your ship down with a piece of paper. Because, you know, paper's not flammable at all. Anything else you want there, uh, Captain Security Pants? Third mate. <laughs> uh, well, if second mate Billy has to do the captain's nightly rubdowns, I shiver to think what poor third mate Billy would have to do. It's not a pretty clap. But anyways, we managed to get a pretty fair amount done this episode. We managed to finally take over, or finally kill Planet in exchange for accidentally killing her husband. And then we got uh, several more pages, including some of the mini games out of the way that were supposed to be daunting. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and hopefully get some more quills and pages here because we're doing pretty good on our total. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.